100 years ago today, aviation pioneers in Nova Scotia made history on a frozen lake. The Silver Dart became the first powered, controlled, heavier-than-air flight in Canada. Now, a century later, the event is being remembered across the country, including right here on Vancouver Island. Dean Stoltz reports. On February 23, 1909, after several successful attempts in the U.S., the Silver Dart lifted nine meters off a frozen lake near Bedeck, Nova Scotia. It only flew about 800 meters, but it changed how the world thought about transportation. The Wright brothers had flown five years earlier, but that feat was still largely a secret. So this first flight in Canada was celebrated widely across the British Commonwealth. Of course, the Air Force has figured prominently in a lot of things that have happened. I think that only five years after that aircraft took off, um, the Air Canadians were flying in the Royal Air Force uh, uh, in World War I. And now Canadians are marking the event's 100th anniversary. In Comox, where the Air Force Museum chronicles aviation in Canada, a locally designed banner now hangs. And 85-year-old Francis Stephen is also celebrating. He's flown for 67 of the 100 years and still flies planes today. The most interesting one was the first airplane I flew when I was an air cadet at university in Scotland. And uh, it was a Hawker Hart biplane fighter, which was the forerunner of the Spitfire. Canada owes a lot to that first flight. Aviation is credited with opening up this country and is still a lifeline for many northern and remote communities. When you consider, you know, a deck or a biplane with a minimal engine in it and, uh, and now we're up into jets and we've even gone to the moon. What a change in a very short period of time. Makes you really wonder if the pilot that day, J.A.D. McCurdy, really understood the impact his first flight would have. Celebrations will continue coast to coast all year long.